Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy and today I'll be listening to A.C. Lau 2023 and not part 1, not part 2, not part 3, no, part 4. This is the final episode of our little series where we react to all of the A.C. Lau songs. So if you miss your favorite in this batch of 5 songs, I already listened to 15 of them. So check out my other videos as well to see me react to your favorites perhaps. But before you can know uh, whether I react to yours or not, the following songs in this video will be from Inger, from Sissy, from Robin Jukenthal, then Mia, and finally we listen to Ollie. Yes, those will be the songs in this video. If your favorite isn't there, go and check out the other episodes as well. Um, yeah, there's a few returning names here. I see Sissy, I see Inger. Uh, I'm curious what they will come out with, um, so I'm super hyped to find out about them. So far, AC Lau, very solid. Very solid national final. I would say a bit better than last year, even. Um, last year wasn't maybe the strongest from AC Lau, but it's been solid so far. There's not really been that many bad songs, and usually there's like at least two or three uh, bad songs in there. So that's really good, but we have these songs to listen to, so let's not waste any more of your time and my time but especially your time. So let's go to the first song, let's listen to them. The first song that we listen to is by the returnee Inger. Uh, Inger has participated in ACL twice before, if I remember correctly, back to back. I don't remember on top of my head which years they were. Um, but yeah, interesting. I remember like a very distinct voice. That's all I can really remember. And kind of like a singer songwriter song. So I'm curious if that will be the same this time around. So let's find out what this song is about and let's click play. Well, now we have a guitar already. Yeah. In the other episode, I talked about cursive singing and indie voice. This is cursive singing. Not completing the words fully. So the, the listener really has to pay very close attention to what you're really singing. Can be very tiring, for me it is. Okay. Definitely a bit more of a completed song compared to the other entries, I would say. I think a lot of it will be, do you like English voice or not? If you do, then this is probably a song for you. If you don't, you'll probably struggle to listen to it. To be honest, it's a good pop orchestration, like... I get pictures on the radio. I mean, not my type of voice, but... But the rest, it's, it's fine. Really fine. Nice. Nice little... cliffhanger, I would say. I will say, this is definitely, from the three songs, the best. Like that Inger has um, uh, put forward for ACL before. Um, the other ones were not as poppy, were very singer songwriter y. It still has that singer songwriter feel, but it's way more pop oriented. Um, so I'd definitely say that this is probably my favorite of the three that Inger has put forward, but is it my favorite of the selection? It really comes down to taste with uh, the voice. Um, yeah. Not my type of thing necessarily, but I can see why people like it. So yeah, all in all, not too bad. Uh, let's go to Sissy. Uh, another returnee, she is the daughter of, oh, I, one of the guys that won for Estonia in 2002. Am I saying that correctly? 2000 Denmark. Yeah, Denmark, Latvia, Estonia, right? What was the other way around? Denmark, Latvia, Est whatever. You know, he won Eurovision. He got a daughter. She's called Sissy. She has a song called Lighthouse. I'm curious what it sounds like because she's been a returnee and she has potential. Her previous songs, which is not as perfect, not as suitable for Eurovision, but they had potential. So let's see if she fulfills that potential this year uh, and let's find out what the song is about and let's click play. The short hair fits her really well. I remember from last time, was it last year even that she participated? She had like a big, big like hairdo with lots of like curls and stuff. I don't know exactly the word for the hair style, but that looks also awesome, but this looks amazing too. 
Okay. I like that. I like it. Usually I'm not a fan of it toning down immediately after your chorus. I think it works here. I can picture on this stage delivering this. I'm digging this. Yes. I need a big payoff though. I do need that. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice moment for staging as well. I hope it still explodes. Does it? Oh, there's time. There's time for one explosion. Give it to me. It's good to like reel it into smaller and then like outdo what you did before to have even more impact. I wish that was a bit better. It kind of goes back to the chorus you already had before, and yes, it will feel more powerful because you go, you dip down. I wish it had more impact though. I wish that ending had more impact because this, again, has an immense amount of potential and it just doesn't, it realizes it better than her previous entries. Um, but I still think this isn't the perfect sound that she needs to go with. But it's a really awesome entry. I dig it a lot. It, it's really, really good. Definitely one of my favorites on the selection so far. Especially, like, ballad-wise, I think it might be my favorite ballad so far. I remember in the first one there was, like, a piano ballad, which was also kind of good. I would prefer this one, though. Um, yeah. I definitely think I would. Um... Cool, really cool. Thank you, Sissy. That's another great entry. Like, I don't think she's had a bad one yet. Just not perfect. And we want perfect because she's a talent. She's a master talent, right? Yes, I think we can all sense that. Uh, moving on to Robin Yukental. And the song is called Kurbuse Matuse. Uh, no idea if I pronounced that correctly. Any Estonians, let me know in the comments if my Estonian is perfect, spot on, or absolutely terrible. Let me know. Um, Robin Yukental. Kurbuse Matuset. Let's click play. Jazz. Will we get more jazz? Yeah. Let's get it. Woo! Hey. Okay. I wish the piano was a bit more sporadically, like right now it's like a lot of piano. Okay. What happened there? I hope they turned it down for a live performance, because that was a bit loud and a bit unexpected. A song like this, you just really need to delicately place every single instrument in the perfect timing. The perfect places, just like last year, what Minimal Wind did. Every little instrument was perfectly placed. I think this one doesn't nail that as well. But his voice is really made for the seven music. This will surprise people how well it will do, because his voice sounds like he'll be carrying this song easily. Um, And those, those sounds that come kind of unexpectedly, you can tone those down in the live performance with the mixing. Will it win? Don't think so. Great addition though. Oh. I do love myself, this nice relaxing beat that just... Mmm. Mmm. Awesome. This won't be for everyone, but I like it. I like it quite a lot. Um, it's more my type of music, I would say, uh, than a lot of other songs. Yeah, I dig that quite a lot, actually. Um, yeah, the, the, the sounds are a bit loud, so this is not a type of song I would stream necessarily too often. Um, but live, this will really shine. This will definitely shine when, in, when performed live, and I think this will fly through. Genuinely. So, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen the, the, the divisions of the semifinals. I thought they were out already, the semifinals.
because I also want to make these little playlists. Um, and I thought I remember them saying like, yo, uh, they already know the semifinals, so I'll just divide those into two batches of five. But then I found out that there wasn't even a semifinal. Maybe I made that up, that that was not the case and that they didn't say that. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. These videos are just fun anyways. Thank you for making the playlist anyway. <laughs> I don't want to get spoiled, so I don't want to make the, the playlist myself. I ask someone to do it usually. Uh, so, thank you everyone to, who's helping with that, basically. Yeah. Anyways, two more songs to go. The first one is by M.I.A. or Mia, probably. Uh, and the song is called Ux Sam Koraga. Uh, let's click play. Getting a um, bit of an Avicii vibe here. Okay. Jeez, this batch of song is strong. Yeah, and I return. This will be intriguing live. Yo, Estonia. What's it? What's going on this year? You're having a damn good selection. Damn, damn, damn. Like in each video, there's been like two or three that I really, really like, and this one, I liked all four of them. I mean, the first one wasn't really my cup of tea necessarily, but I can see a lot of people liking it. It's more like vocal tone than the song, really, that one. This is such a good introduction to the chorus. She's got a good clarity on her voice, too. I love it. The beach at Bango. Now. But it doesn't, and that's unfortunate. It should have had like an EDM drop. It doesn't fully do that. That's just really unfortunate, because the way she introduces the chorus sounds so EDM-y. You just expect a, a, a cool, cool drop, or even a house or trans kind of transition. Trance would make sense with this, I'd say. Oh, send a DM to Armin Van Buren. Make some trance together. Why not? Potential. Loads. Loads, 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 loads. Are they fully met? I wouldn't say so. Um, like I said, it really needed an EDM drop. It sounded like it would be an EDM build. Um, not even the verses necessarily, but just how she introduces the chorus, because it's very, very catchy. Very, very memorable. Like, oox. What was it again? Oox. Sam Koraga and like her voice had a lot of clarity on it already. So it's really easy to like slot in a nice little lo-fi uh, kind of beat in there. Like make it a bit of a house track, make it a bit of a trance song, something like that. It would work quite well, I would say. Um, yeah, unfortunately that didn't really happen. So if this were to do well, I would definitely revamp it. But ACL never really does revamps anyway. Um, one more song to go. Um, the song is called. Venom by Oli and usually when I ask people to um, make playlists for me they hide what they think will be my favorite song in the final episode um, and usually when I ask a new person to do it it will be the final song and I expect quite a lot from this because I do live on Twitter so now and then if you don't follow me on Twitter do it right now it's in the description Instagram is also there if you want it um, and I see quite a lot of hype for this song, so I am quite curious what this is. Um, so, Oli, Venom, let's click play. Okay, Nickelback. Ha! <laughs> ah, genuinely. <laughs> okay. Rock ballad. There is some attitude on here, but his voice does sound like it will be already quite strong. Oh! Oh, let's go! Here we went, just fully analyzing his voice, and then... This is what I want, you know? ACLL, the last couple of years as well, but especially this year, has the big syndrome of your chorus, and then not having the payoff in the first chorus, but immediately going down to the verse. This is a nice payoff that you just need. It doesn't need to be long. Just give me a little bit of a payoff for the first chorus. 
It makes it more memorable for Eurovision too. Yeah! Nice! Oh, people will eat this up. I get the hype. I get it. Because this is the type of rock ballad that will be very accessible for people who aren't into rock or metal music, you know? I'm quite a metalhead myself. I mean, behind me, metal, rock, metal, sort of, metal. You know, I have a lot of metal and rock albums, and I listen to a lot of metal. Oh. Screamo stuff? But you know, for me this might not be the most exciting song there for him. But it's exactly the type of music you need to introduce more people into the beautiful world that is rock metal music or metal music. Um, so I would genuinely love this to win. I would love this to win, uh, AC Loud. Because we need more rock music in Eurovision. We need more people to get on the hype train. Because y'all are missing the hell out. I was at a concert this weekend from my favorite band, Enter Shikari. Man, man, man. It is so wonderful. Like, oh, I was just in a mosh pit the entire evening, really. And, and a mosh pit sounds really scary, but it, it's the most euphoric thing you'll ever feel because there's so much respect for everyone. And, you know, whenever someone goes down, whenever whenever a girl goes down or a guy even, um, everyone just around, like, makes a protective barrier, helps them to get up and, and just continue going. And it's so, so wonderful. And I had the best time of my life this weekend. So that was wonderful. So if more people get into rock and metal music, Give me some of that. Give me some of that. I want to talk about music with people. Um, awesome song. Would love this to win. I think that's what we should say. Now let's wrap up this video. And there you have it. I listened to the final five songs from AC Loud 2023. Um, top five wise, I mean, it's no surprise. The last song is my favorite, Oli with Venom. Um, I would say second is Robin Yukatal. I really quite enjoyed it. Yes, the, the instruments are a bit loud sometimes, but you know, they can fix that hopefully with the live performance. This will surprise a few people definitely because it did well last year as well and it will be very easy to sing live. Uh, I think he can really carry it. Definitely. Um, third place, Sissy with Lighthouse. Really enjoyed it. Um, very much a step up from their other entries. Um, yeah, really cool. Then I would say I'll go for Mia with Uksam Koraga. Um, like I said, it needed an EDM drop in some sort of way or an EDM um, direction because, you know, Trance doesn't really have much of a drop. I mean, it does, but it kind of doesn't. Anyway, um, and then finally Inger. I mean, it's just a matter of taste, really. It, it's the best song Inger sent to AC Laul. Um, definitely. It's just still not my type of voice. And that's okay. Right? It, it, someone likes it. Definitely. There will be people who will be massive fans. Um, as of the entire selection, I think my favorite of them all is going to be Monsters from the Bedwetters. The entire week I've also had Tuju in my head. Tuju, 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 you know what I mean? Tuju, Tuju. Love that as well. Uh, and I think on the third position, I would put Venom. It's a really good rock ballad, but the other two are just more my cup of tea. But this is a better introduction for people who are not necessarily into rock music to love rock music. And that's what you should send to Eurovision. So, Estonia, you know what to do. You need to vote for either Venom or Tuju. I think those would be the coolest. Or even Monsters. Just give me some rock. Give me some cool. Do it for me, please. Do it for me. Uh, anyways, I hope to see you in the next video because there will be plenty, plenty, plenty more national selections this year. Um, subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment. Who are your favorites from this year's AC Loud? Uh, and just, yeah, tell me how wrong I am with my taste. Tell me how much you love rock music as well. Tell me if you hate it. Just tell me something in the comments below. I love to read them. I reply to them quite often, actually. So, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. But for me today. Goodbye.